<sighs> Today's video can either go really good or really bad, so let's find out. Welcome back to Sierra Sideshow channel and welcome to a new video. So I'm excited. Today we are doing a creative project and I'm a little nervous because the stakes are high. Today we're going to be painting the edges of two books that I actually want to read and are actually on my TBR for next month. So I really hope I don't ruin these books. The two books that we're going to be painting the edges of today is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nung and The Candle on the Flame by Navasia Asad. So I really want to read both of these books next month so like I'm really hoping I don't ruin them. As you can see their edges are clean just regular paper right but today we're going to be changing that. So I went to Michael's this morning and I picked up two acrylic paints. I actually ordered them online and just picked them up in store. Um, they looked different online than they do in real life so they're not exactly the colors that I was looking for or hoping for but let's give it a try. So to complement The Candle and the Flame by Navasia Asad, I picked this acrylic paint. It's in the shade Desert Sand and it looked a little bit darker, like a darker gold on the Michaels website than it does in real life so it's a little lighter than I thought it was going to be but I'm hoping that it will be a good match because it matches the cover pretty well if you can see that. So hopefully it'll work out. And for Girls of Paper and Fire I picked this shade of purple. There were two shades of purple on the website and I was like oh I'll do this one because it looked darker like I said. So this one is in the shade Purple Pizzazz. It's way lighter than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like a deeper kind of purple. I honestly wish that I had black to mix this with to make it like a deeper shade of purple but I didn't get black and um I can't go back now so we're just gonna have to go with this and hopefully hopefully it looks cute. So these are the two books and the two colors I want to get started. I think I'm going to start with The Candle and the Flame just because I feel like I really want Girls of Paper and Fire to turn out really cute. This is a book that I want to show off a lot so if I ruin it I'm going to be mad. So I'm going to start with The Candle and the Flame and start with the gold shade and let's get started. And to avoid this creative project being a little bit boring because I'm just sitting here painting, I'm going to be combining painting my book edges with answering book tag questions. So I have my paint here, I already opened it and shook it and I'm literally just going to put little dots on this little back of um, my tape dispenser thing that it came in because I don't have a paper plate and I was not about to buy paper plates just for this one purpose. I also got this paintbrush. I have no idea what makes a good paintbrush. I probably won't use these things again which kind of sucks but I really wanted to do this video so I had to take the L. And let me ask the first question. Okay so I was not tagged in this tag. I just found it on sometimes Leland reads. Leland I love you. Um, the first question of this tag is which book most recently did you not finish? So it has been a hot minute guys since I have not finished a book. I rarely ever DNF books, especially like books that I get from authors or publishers. If you do, go off, but I just think that it's kind of disrespectful. So, um, but anyway, even in my own personal like reading life, I don't really DNF books. I think it's been like quite a couple years since I've DNF'd a book. I tend to finish every book that I read. And here's what it's looking like with the first strokes. Um, okay, I don't hate this color. Like I said, I wish it was more gold than it is. Um, it's more like just a beige color, um, but it is what it is and it doesn't look horrible. So, all right, next question is which book is your guilty pleasure? This is an interesting question because I don't know why a book would be considered a guilty pleasure. Um, like I don't really feel guilty about liking a certain book anyway. I guess if I had to say that I have a guilty pleasure for a book, it would be like Catcher by Kayla Nicholson, but that's kind of a weird guilty pleasure because not many people know about that book anyway. Um, but the reason that it would be my guilty pleasure is because it's a book written by a YouTuber and some people really have like strong opinions about YouTubers becoming authors. So maybe that's why it's my guilty pleasure. People are probably like, um, why are you reading this book that a YouTuber wrote and I'm like because it was good like you guys can hate but it was good all right so I got the first coat of the paint on the candle and the flame done I'm going to wait for it to 
kind of dry a little bit before I try to put on another coat. So I'm going to focus a little bit on answering these questions while I let that happen. Which book do you love to hate and which book would you throw into the sea? So I don't really, this is a hard question for me because I don't like to be a hater of books. If you go on my Goodreads and you look through all the books that I've read, I rate books pretty high. Like I have a really high rating average on Goodreads. So like I don't hate many books. Um, but if I had to pick a book that I love to hate, what book do I hate? Oh, 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 right, right, right. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. That book really just, like, I just, I don't know. Okay, listen, it's, I read it in 2017, so it's been like three years since I've read that book, but I remember cringing so hard reading that book so many times. I was just like, why do people, and, and the problem with it is that people love that book, so it's like a, why are you such a hater, Sierra? And I'm like, I, it's just bad. And the second part of that question was, what is a book that you would throw into the sea? I feel really bad about this because it was an arc that I got from NetGalley um, and it had potential. It's The Weight of a Soul by Elizabeth Tammy. That's the most recent book that I read where I was like, this is so bad, this is so bad. Let's move on. Which books have you read the most? Hands Down, Lab Girl by Hope Jarin, Every Day by David Levithan, Dash and Lee's Book of Dares by David Lethethan and Rachel Cohen, and The Memory Book by Laura Avery. All right, so now that I've answered a couple questions, I'm going to see if I can go over this one more time with another coat. I'm noticing that I'm getting the edges, like I'm not getting the edges as much as I should, so I'm going to try to run my paintbrush through the edges um, the most. And I'm just really hoping that these pages don't stick together. So here's a naked girls in paper and fire. I've actually never taken the dust jacket off of this book so I had no idea that it was red on the inside. So it looks a little weird that it's going to be painted purple and it's a red hardback. We're gonna pretend like this is purple and we're gonna pretend like it matches. But anyway, it's all taped up. Let's do it. All right, so moving on with the tag, we have the question, which book would you hate to receive as a present? Any books that I have already read before, I would hate to receive as presents because it's like, I know what this book is about and I've already read it, so I don't want it again. And I would also hate to receive books that I've donated in the past as a present because it's like, I got rid of it for a reason. Here we go. We're gonna try. I'm gonna start at the top just in case. I don't know if that makes any difference, but yeah. of the top of the Girls of Paper and Fire is now drying so I'm going to answer some more questions from this tag while it is drying. Which book could you not live without? And this is such a hard question. Honestly, who made this tag? Because you're really messing with my emotions trying to answer these questions. If I could only have one book for the rest of my life, it would probably be Every Day by David Levithan. It was like the first book that I saw like myself in and not like I saw myself in the characters, but I saw myself in the way that the characters think. I saw myself in the way that A perceives the world, the way that he views the world. And it's just like, it's one of those books that I feel like I will never ever actually write a review for on my blog just because like I can't articulate what it makes me feel like. I feel like my words will never do David Leffenden's words justice, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna answer one more question and then we're gonna get back to painting. The next question is what book made you angriest? And this is a hard question because I don't tend to get mad when I'm reading books unless it's like playfully mad or mad at something that the villain did where you're obviously supposed to get mad, but like a book that I walked away from feeling angry. I walked away from Me or on the Dying Girl. I read that book and also We All Looked Up. I forget the author's of either of those books but I read it both of those on Goodreads one star I hated them really really hated them and I'm angry about them because I feel like they wasted my time and like 
not it like literally wasted my time I feel like I walked away from that book going what why did I read that like I learned nothing there was no emotional impact this was a waste of my time I just realized that you guys are sitting up real high right now let me take you down a notch <laughs> sorry about that all right we're gonna move on with painting girls of paper and fire I'm just so hoping that I don't ruin this book like it looks good it's going to look better with the um, dust jacket on it because right now like this red and this purple doesn't make sense like let's face it but with the dust jacket it looks cool so let's continue all right, so the first coat on Girls of Paper and Fire is completely done now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to wrap up this tag and let this dry so that I can go over it again if I need to and then show you guys the finished product. All right, so there are two questions left on this tag, and the first one is, which books make you cry the most? Um, the last time I cried reading a book was Illuminae, but um, I don't think that's a book that like has made me cry the most. I think a book that has made me cry multiple times while reading it um, was the memory book by Laura Avery it makes me be thankful for the health that I have, the ability that I have, um, and that I'm just a, you know, a healthy human. The last question of this tag is what book cover do you hate the most? So I get really, really weird, like, vibes from books that show, like, human skin that's, like, kind of, like, hidden or, like, I don't know how to describe it, but the best way that I can describe it is I really hate the cover of Wilder Girls. Um, it stresses me out. I don't like the, like, razor, like, zipped apart thing going on with their face. It stresses me out. I don't like it. Um, and for that matter, I don't like the cover of this edition of Never Let Me Go either. Um, it's not as bad as Wilder Girls because you can tell that it's just like the white border that's like disorder, like hiding part of her face, but it makes it look like it's cut and I hate it. It stresses me out. But yeah, so that's the end of that tag and I'm done painting my books. I'm just going to let them dry so that I can see what the coat coverage looks like and I'll go over them again if I need to, but I will come back when it's all done and I will open them and see if I've ruined my books. Let's really hope that I have it. All right. It's a little bit later and they're done. So I've got the candle and the flame and I've got girls of paper and fire. So how did they turn out in their dust jackets? I It's kind of lame with this one because you can't really tell, but it's a gold color. And I honestly really like this color. I thought that it was a little bit dull and I wanted it to be a little bit more pigmented gold, but honestly, I've come to enjoy that it's kind of like this beigey color. I think it suits the book more than a gold would, actually. And Girls of Paper and Fire with its purple. I love it. It looks so sick with the dust jacket. Like, it really didn't make sense when it was just with the red, like, basic hardcover, but with the purple, like, plum, like, blue dust jacket it looks so cool so the moment of truth though guys um do the books do they still open yes yeah, so, i mean obviously i could open it to like put the dust jacket back on but like can i turn the pages um oh 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 no <laughs> oh no okay so yeah they stuck together pretty pretty well um you can see that whole clump right there is stuck together um yeah so that happened it looks like that they can still be pulled apart just delicately so that i don't like tear the book and the pages um one by one though is gonna be crazy if you do this and you're worried about your pages being stuck together it looks like they will get stuck together no matter what if you paint them or maybe i just didn't see the memo of how to fix that um, but it's not impossible to pull them apart and that's the important thing. So I'm gonna go pull these apart Two hours later I Decided that the task of pulling all these pages apart is going to be something that I'm gonna do another day Because it's taking too long and I've got other things to get to today I did manage to pull apart at least the first like hundred pages of the candle and the flame So pages do in fact open and turn so it's possible if you want to read your books after you paint them It's possible to pull them apart. It's just gonna take a while it didn't turn out that bad when pulling them apart. It's just that the pa the pages get a little bit raggedy around the edges, if you can tell. You can tell where I pull them apart here. They just get a little bit more raggedy when you're pulling them apart. So if that's something that bothers you, I would recommend painting your book edges. I think that it still was a success, and I'm so glad that I did it. It's just going to take me a while to pull all of these apart. I started Girls of Paper and Fire, and then I was like, I'm not doing this entire book today. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for going on this creative journey with me. Hopefully I will get all of these pages pulled apart, and I can still read them for my November TBR. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you like it, like it. If you like me, subscribe, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!